G'day everyone! Today we're looking back at some of my favourite shell finds for 2022. This is part one of two, looking at mm, 10 of my favourite shell finds from the first half of my episodes. This is when I just started shelling. So let's see what I found when I was still getting my shelling eyes broken in. Number 10, the little zebra volute. This guy has a permanent place in my special little minis container. Teeny tiny this time, a little zebra volute. Let's grab that one up. Oh, can you see it? Oh, I'm sorry, camera work. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that cute little thing with a big orange tip. What it, it's like, it's very prominent. Look at that cute little one. Wow, that's, that might be a favorite today. He's very lovely. Number nine, the honey cowrie. I had no idea what it was, but gosh, didn't I like it on the day? Oh, it's a cowrie. Wow, I don't think I've ever found a cowrie like that. It's not a snakehead. It's, oh, the gloves get in the way of turning over the shells. Yeah, it's just rocks in there. Wow, what an absolutely pretty cowrie. I wonder what type it is. Number eight, the sub-adult Curica cowrie. I still really, really like this shell find. Even look right here, just sitting there. My God, is that a Curica cowrie? Oh, wow, that's a very nice one. Is it, is it maybe slightly juvenile? It, it, the teeth don't look like they're grown in yet. Wow, that's really beautiful. You know, this one, um, gosh, it's already getting hard to pick a favorite. I've only been out here for like half an hour. My God, what a pretty cowrie. Number seven, an olive shell. We usually don't find olive shells here, so this was very surprising for me. <laughs> oh, bugger. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh, 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 what is this? What? My camera is focusing on it. It's just, it's, it's got a very diffuse pattern. What is this? Some kind of volute, maybe? I've got no idea. I've never seen this kind of shell before. Wow, that's super cool. It's got like a really cool shape. It's different from like regular cones and stuff. Number six, a big Gemma Rosa. I love a rosa, so of course this one had to climb up onto my list. It's massive. Oh, it's empty. What? This, I mean, is it an a rosa? It's like bigger and longer than any rosa I've ever seen. That is absolutely gorgeous. Is it something else? I'm not really sure, but whoa. That must be super fresh. It's so big. It's so nice. Number five, the tapering cowrie. I've only ever found one of these cowries, and I had no idea what pretty much any of the shells I was finding were back then, so you're gonna hear me say a lot of incorrect things right now. What? I think it's a Curica cowrie. I saw a live one of these in, in a previous um, video that I did. I also found an, a wide-edged cowrie that was kind of like this, but blue and bigger on the beach in another video. What? This is so cool. I love these so much. Look at the pattern on that thing. That's adorable. I love this little dude and it's in such good condition. What? Number four, my first Arabian cowrie. It was actually a gem and I didn't film picking it up, but oh my God, this ignited my complete and total passion for shelling. And it also influenced the name of my channel. Turns out that the beach is pretty good for seashells. This one's my favorite. My God, it's so big. Looks like a coffee bean, except 15 times the size. Number three, an Eglantina cowrie. Wow, look what I just spotted. You see that right there? It's a cowrie. It looks so good. I wonder if it's alive or not. We are going to take a check. The water is, oh, oh, I lost sight of it. The water is a bit deep here. There it is. Let's let's have a little look. It's <gasps> what? I thought for sure this one would be alive. There's no goopy boy in there. No, it's empty. Wow! Look at that one. That's so pretty. Hold on. Let me rinse it a bit more. What? No way. That's really nice. I don't know if that's an Arabian or an Eglantina. This is a very long cowrie. It's extra long and a bit flatter than usual, so I dare say it's an Eglantina instead of an Arabian. Wow, that's super lovely. Number two, an epic Wendel trap. 
Oh my god, no hecking way, I'm freaking out. Do you think this is alive? My last massive Wendell trap was alive, so let's take a look at this one. It's, <gasps> whoa, is this empty? Um, is there a snail in there? I can't see, I'm looking through the camera. I don't think it's got anything in it. Oh, the tip's nice and pointy, it's a little mossy. My God, that must be like, like, I don't know, at least an inch long, like two or three centimeters. What, this is like such a beautiful Wendell trap. Um, I'm definitely gonna like scrutinize that off camera, make sure there isn't anything living in there, but oh my God, what a freaking fantastic shell find. Number one, a textile cone. One of my early episodes, this find was so unbelievably incredible. I do kind of look back and cringe at how I didn't have any tongs and picked it up kind of unsafely, although at the time I could see there was coral inside. Because the uh, pointy bit can have the uh, venomous spike come out of it, but just looking at it, guys, I think it's empty. Let me just position myself a bit better. Grab it really carefully. Oh, guys! Oops, 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 oops. Guys! It looks empty, does it? Is it? Oh my god, yes! Oh my god, it's empty! Like, like, you guys can't see a snail boy in there! It's just like corals and rocks, isn't it? Oh my god, it's a massive thing! What the heck? I thought my first one was good, but my first one was just like a little baby compared to this guy. Look at this monster. It must have just come in. God, thank God I just hustled to this side of the beach because it just is on dead low tide right now. Oh my God, wow. Oh my God, this is amazing. Whew. Okay, I'm not shaking with excitement. It's actually a bit cold this morning. Wow, I'm going to double check this off camera, but to me, that looks good. That looks empty. Oh my God, I am shaking a little bit with excitement. That is, that is super amazing. Oh my God. And those are my 10 to 1 picks for favorite shell finds on the first half of my shelling episodes on YouTube. I also do want to have some honorable mentions. My first Gaia Triton. I really, really loved this one. Number two, an old white strombus. He kind of looked like he was fossilized. It was just, it was just super cool. Next up was the black and white Arabian. White because he was kind of calcified, but still really, really cool. The glossy deer cowrie probably would have made it onto my top 10 list. I just didn't want to give a photosensitivity warning again. It was, it was quite a bright day and I didn't want to hurt anyone's eyes. But yes, this glossy deer was an extremely wonderful find. And finally, an early morning Arabian cowrie find. I loved this guy. He was a super glossy gem, absolutely beautiful. So he gets the honorable mention as well. How do you think I did? Do you agree or disagree with these ones? I will be leaving links to the videos which have all of these shells contained in them down in the description. Look forward to part two in a few days. So if your favorite shells didn't pop up here, maybe they were from a, from a more recent video and will shop in the next episode. And that's it for part one of my favorite shell finds in 2022. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye.